that sudden chill, the motion of the birds, the way that the rest of life reacts to the blocking out of the sun is almost, you know, it has that kind of mythic, biblical power to it, and it should have it. For how many countless generations, we applied the kind of false pattern recognition. So, you know, there's a darkness at noon. Oh my God, that means that the king is not in favor, or gods are angry, or we have committed some terrible sin by sleeping with the wrong person, or eating the wrong food on the wrong day, things like that. But it's also the beginning of figuring out the universe. What I love so much about science is, for me, it is informed worship. It's a high degree of humility to say, we know nothing, we're very young, we're very new at this. Give us a machine that can ferret out those misconceptions and enable us to see nature as she really is and to love her as she is. That, to me, is defining in love. I mean, really, when you love someone, is it good if you just love the illusions you have about them? Or is it really a deeper love to want to know them as they truly are, to love them so much that you will not turn away and flinch at reality? That soaring spiritual joy, that goosebump raising feeling of being part of nature, and understanding it even a little is one of the greatest human experiences.